Personal watercraft, jet skis are what most people call them. They're tons of fun, but riding them can also be really dangerous. In 2017, 46 people died while using personal watercraft, and the deaths continue this summer. It's an invasion of jet skiers. The flotilla zooms down New York's Hudson River. It sure looks like fun, but heed this warning. Jet ski accidents are happening across the country. This guy out fishing is a sitting duck when he's suddenly rammed by an out of control jet skier. And after jumping a giant wave, this jet skier sustains a serious head injury. Keep your head up. I got you, dude. Watch what happens when this operator hits the throttle by mistake. Oh! Even relaxing on the beach can lead to a jet ski disaster. There was a wave runner that someone lost control and it ran right into the beach with all the people, all the kids. Emily Milam was blindsided by a road jet ski that motored her down last summer at a beach in Tennessee. <laughs> I remember being on the float and out of nowhere a jet ski just ran into me. Her mother, Gloria, witnessed the accident. You're not right here, baby. There was no stopping it. it it came so fast. Oh. I thought she was dead. The jet ski operator, Terry Merritt Jr., was charged with reckless endangerment. Our Lisa Guerrero spoke to him on his way into court. Sir, do you have any reason why you were driving so out of control? Can you explain that? I'm driving out of control. I hit a wave. Merritt pled not guilty. It was an accident. I'm sorry. These jet skis are tremendously dangerous. Clearwater, Florida attorney Tom Carey was cruising on his boat in 2017 when out of nowhere, this popular high school principal slammed into his boat. He came straight at me, perpendicular. Bang, right there. Just like he, a yeah. T-bone. Craig Butts was drunk. His four-year-old daughter was riding on the front of the jet ski. It appears the 40-year-old male on the jet ski is deceased and that the females may not make it. Thank goodness the little girl did survive. <laughs> Jet ski incidents are such an issue in Florida, Miami-Dade police have their own special jet ski marine patrol unit. Officer Grace Green invited us along as they patrol the waters on a recent weekend. It's a $90 citation. We watched them issue ticket after ticket for speeding. You need to understand the speed signs, okay, and you have to follow those signs. Did you guys know that you were speeding? Uh which you're not supposed to do under that bridge. I thought I was going slow enough. They pulled over this man for speeding, and look what they found, his son riding with him. How many times have you been on a jet ski? This is my first time. We see plenty of jet ski accidents, plenty of boating accidents, and accidents that happen out here on the water are usually deadly. What are the causes that you've seen that have led to the jet ski accidents here in Miami? Careless operation, inexperience, and lack of knowledge. So what do you need to know to stay safe on the water? So if you can't look behind you and you can't look left or right, you're driving too fast. Slow down. Too Bert Myers runs Blind Pass right Jet Ski Rental in St. Pete Beach, Florida. He has this warning for all jet ski drivers. You're looking at a 700 pound torpedo that can do about 60 miles per hour. What's the most important safety issue that somebody needs to know before they board one of these? You have no brakes. It needs gas to steer. You shouldn't drink alcohol before you drive a jet ski. According to the Coast Guard, 81% of all boating deaths occurred when the operator had no safety instruction.